how we doing today? My name is AK. And today we have a very special guest. We have Mary Jane Marcasiano, who is the programming director of the 27th edition of the Music and Film Brazil Festival mm -hmm. that will be happening in New York this year. Welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> so Mary Jane, why don't you talk to us about the different films that you chose for this festival and maybe the song genres that they focus on? Two films are Bossa Nova. Mm -hmm. And then the third are um, a lot of mixed genres. Um, okay. Bossa Nova was uh, one of the biggest Brazilian ex exports, you know, next to samba and football, <laughs> soccer. Um, Bossa Nova was really like uh, went international. And um, uh, so it had a huge impact on on both of Brazil and American music. So uh, so I so I chose those films because, well, number one, they're really iconic figures and they're new films about them, which are really important. Uh, and secondly, um, I feel that they appeal to a broad uh, group of you know people in you know in the U.S. Um, who'd be interested in, in seeing films about Bossa Nova. So out of curiosity, can we jump a little deeper into the origins of the bossa nova music genre? All Brazilian music, it, it you know, yes, it came from uh, the Afro-Brazilians um, you know, and uh, the rhythms, you know, and so many, so much of the dance, you know, the samba and the martial arts, capoeira, and the music is all based on African drumming. And, um, and so the music genres, different parts of Brazil have different genres of music. Then when the, when Brazil was, you know, the, the, the colonizers, the Portuguese, they also brought like some kind some European tempos. Mm -hmm. And so the music got blended, just like everything in Brazil gets blended. Bossa Nova was born in uh, Bahia and in, in Rio. And it was really a blending of, um, of those African rhythms, plus uh, the jazz that um, a lot of like in the 50s that a lot of Brazilian musicians were listening to. Wow. Okay. Well, let's actually uh, dive into the lineup. If you could walk us yes. through the films that you selected and the intentionalities behind those films. The music and film series, uh, we started at Cinema Tropical um, because, you know, I feel like music is such a uniter. And so like uh, sometimes people may not be interested in going to see a film, um, uh, you know, that's a far, they call a foreign film or a film about a different culture, but music really draws people in. So I, you know, I was, I thought it would be the best way to like kind of um, share Brazilian culture was through, uh, through these music films. The first film is called Ellis and Tom, Sochinha Ser Com Você. And um, it was actually filmed, it's, it's from archival footage that was filmed in the seventies in Los Angeles. And uh, Antonio Carlos Jobim and Lisa Gina, two of the you know biggest stars of Brazil, came to a recording studio in LA to record this album that became iconic. And there's this duet that they do together. And it's just the most beautifully, you know, beautiful musical thing. And all fans of Brazilian music just are obsessed over this album and this song. But no one knew like the whole backstory. And mm -hmm. then it turns out one of the guys the re who was the recording engineer or the, the producer, musical producer, was filming the whole thing. Tom Jobim and Ellis Gina, they're like very hip and they're arriving in LA and kind of digging it. And then they're in the studio together, just, and the interaction is just like unbelievable. And so wow. you get to really, you know, witness the creation of an album. So definitely. Um, so yeah. And by the way, all three films are premieres. They're um, US premieres. Miucha, uh, a lot of younger people know who Babel Gilberto is. Um, you probably know her music. Um, she's like a contemporary Brazilian musician, but her mom, Mayucha, uh, was married to Joao Gilberto, who was the other great founder of Bossa Nova. And she sang with him and with uh, also with Tom Jobim. And she was very uh, important part of, of the music scene. But again, like uh, her life and her musical story is not that well known, but it's also interesting because it's, it's, a, it's a feminist film. Okay. Um, his, he works in conjunction. His wife is a producer and she has a very feminist stance. And um, and then the third film is uh, Tahua Pada. Is, so the region of Pada in Brazil is very specific. It's it's in the Amazon. Okay. And um, it's a real amalgam of, um, you know, of Indian culture and Afro-Brazilian culture. And um, and it's it has it's it's like produced lots of different genres of music. I mean, it's so beautiful because there's a lot of indigenous um, musicians in the film cont and contemporary, but they're they're also very influenced 
by contemporary um, music and hip hop. And, and so it, this film shows a lot of the different, uh, all the different genres and with a lot of love by a young filmmaker called uh, Jorane Castro. Wow. Do you feel that Brazilian cinema where it stands right now sheds light on like music from Brazil, because it seems that you very much have that focus on this festival. But how does that relate to Brazilian cinema? I think there's like a love between the the filmmakers and the musicians. And and I think it's a country where the, where the arts are more shared, you know, where it's more integrated into between the different uh, the different genres. So if you watch, you will definitely find homage to music in Brazilian cinema. Absolutely. Even if it's not a film about Brazilian cinema, <laughs> the music is going to be unbelievable. The soundtrack, <laughs> I can guarantee you that. And lastly, um, what would you like maybe audiences to come out of this festival with? Is there maybe a new perspective on the Brazilian voice? What I always hope is that um, non-Brazilians will experience Brazilian culture, you know, and I always feel like music is the best door to open, you know, and then to like to appreciate uh you know, the roots and the current, the current um, you know, the music and where it came from and how rich it, how rich the country is historically and artistically. Thank you so much, Mary Jane. Okay. Thanks, AK. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>